Go. Alright All right, guys, welcome back to the episode of TVZ. I know, I know, I know. Sorry I'm late for doing this, but I'm finally doing a review of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. No, I'm super late. Let's just get this done right now. First thing, the movie was freaking awesome. Like, oh my god, the movie was so good. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. What I liked about the movie, and I know what everybody liked about the movie, is freaking Baby Groot. Dude was so adorable, like, don't even know what to say. He was funny as well, too, with his little dance moves, with his little war cry when he was attacking people, and. Teenage Root, if you stay for the post credits, Teenage Root was funny. What else I liked about the movie is that nobody really outshined anyone. Everybody had their their moment. I don't guess I'm really even saying a moment, but everybody had their, their thing and everything. Like, you know, people, everybody's relationship with one another. Drax and Mantis, their little relationship, the sister bond with Gamora and Nebula. And even the, the father bond with, well, and even the father and son bond with Ego and Star-Lord, and also with Star-Lord and Yondo. Like, if that didn't make you tear up, or just, you know, talk to your heart a little bit on what happened to Yondo, then I don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're a freaking robot or something. And I also like how they brought in the original Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, with Yondo team and everything. Speaking of his team, first of all, let's talk about the CG and then we get this team. The CG was just freaking amazing. Like Marvel Studios, especially, is hiring a good team of animators and modelers and CG people because that's just freaking awesome. Like the dude that was made of just pure diamond. That was good. You know, uh, Whenever the next X-Men movie come out, somebody who's going to do Iceman should take notes from that guy. But yes, Yondo's team, it basically consisted of some of these awesome OG actors. Freaking Rob Zombie, Sylvester Stallone, um, Miley Cyrus. Like, I was surprised she was in that movie. Freaking Kurt Russell and David Hasselhoff. Like... How'd you get David Hasselhoff to be in the movie in the first place? We ain't seen that man in years. But that was freaking just, just good. Music choice wise, I just felt like I was in the 80s. Even though in the first one, you're supposed to be like in the 80s. But in this one, the music was just good. And it went well with certain scenes. Like, that was not bad. Man, it was just a good music choice. What I dislike about the movie? Nothing. I can't find anything to complain about. There's nothing I complain. I mean, the movie was just good itself. So yeah. But other than that, man, I mean, I don't know what to say. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It should be out on DVD and Blu-ray by now. You know, if it's not, then I don't know. They're still milking their money. Um, other than that, I'm in the re review there. I'm in it early. I have nothing else to say. I mean, checking out Spider-Man in the back around a unicorn, because why not? Spider-Man. Alright, guys. I know right now it's San Diego Comic Con going on right now, and I just, you know, checked out some trailers, and I'm super hyped. Uh, freaking Thor Ragnarok, and an Infinity War trailer, like that just came out, and I am so freaking hyped to see that movie. So I'm glad I'm doing this review now because next year, when I see that movie, I don't know, 
ish is going down. So yeah, other than that, I will come out high high. You guys later on the next episode of Peace. Oh yeah, don't let me forget. Um, if you guys like this review, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, leave comments at the bottom. Peace.